Hey everyone, we're here at the Galaxy Unpacked event at Barclays Center in New York City, and we are checking out the new Galaxy Watch. It's Samsung's new smartwatch, a successor to the Gear S3 and the Gear Sport from last year. So let's check out what's new and uh, what's really unique about this new smartwatch. This is the 46 millimeter version of the Galaxy Watch, and this is the 42 millimeter. 42 millimeter comes in this rose gold color and a black color option, and this one only comes in a silver color option. So they've got AMOLED displays, the 46 millimeter Galaxy Watch has a 472 milliamp hour battery, and Samsung said it optimized the processor to make it more efficient. So now this watch could actually last you about four to six days. Now actually that depends on your usage, so if you're using the heart rate and other activity tracking, then it's of course not gonna last as long, but the fact that it can last more than a couple days, up to six days potentially, is pretty impressive. Sadly, the smaller Galaxy Watch only has a 270 milliamp hour battery, so it's not gonna likely last you as long, but we're hoping Hoping it'll at least get you through a day and even potentially a second day. For the most part, the maximum amount of battery life you can get is six days on this larger one, which is quite impressive for a smartwatch because currently the Apple Watch can go up to perhaps two days and most Android Wear watches, or I should say Wear OS watches, last only about a full day. One of the other cool things is there's heart rate sensor. Now this one, it actually continuously monitors your heart rate so you can constantly just find out what your heart rate is. Hopefully mine's not too high. I believe in Samsung Health. We can find out that my heart rate apparently, well, 30 minutes ago it was 59, but essentially you're gonna be able to track your heart rate uh, in real time throughout the day instead of just having to check it uh, a couple times. Some of the other cool new things is that the old Gear Sport used to only be able to auto-detect 15 workouts. Now with the new Galaxy Watch, it can detect up to 40 workouts, which is pretty impressive. And there's also these new um, breathing exercises that can detect uh, stress levels, and also it'll tell you how to take deep breaths so that you can uh, you know, feel less stressed out. So let's try and start it out a bit. Inhale, I'm just gonna inhale a little, exhale. You get the idea, it's sort of just a meditative uh, feature so you can sort of decrease your stress levels. It's kind of similar to what Fitbit has in their uh, fitness trackers. The new Galaxy watches are also uh, rated at five ATM, so that's about 156 feet, which is much better than an IP68 water resistance rating, so you can definitely take this in the pool to track your swimming. The straps are interchangeable. Currently, the ones that we're seeing are these uh, silicon straps, probably good for sweat resistance, but I'm sure there will be other uh, bands available. You can see that there's a simple uh, release lock mechanism that you can just swap out and this seems to be a 20 millimeter watch strap band for the 42 millimeter watch size and it looks like the larger 46 millimeter watch uses a 22 millimeter watch strap band. That's the heart rate monitor in action at the back. I have to say they're quite comfy and of course we forgot to mention the highlight feature of Samsung smartwatches is this rotating bezel. Kind of feels like your uh, moving one of those gym locker locks, uh, basically rotating it to go throughout the operating system, and it's uh, Samsung's Tizen operating system. No, you're fine, thank you, have a great day. And you can see that there's now Spotify integration built in, and uh, a, a good amount of apps for you to really do all the things you need, such as track activity, you monitor your health, listen to music, and uh, even read the news with Flipboard if you want. So that's the Galaxy Watch. It's gonna come out on August 24th. The 42 millimeter one will cost $330 and the 46 millimeter one will cost $350. Uh, that's for the Bluetooth version. There's also an LTE version which will let you make calls and do a lot more without your phone being nearby. And that'll be supported by all the major US carriers and it'll be coming out later this year.